about this scaffold situation than I was at the end of the day yesterday. I was pretty feeling pretty deflated yesterday. It just seemed, well, I was really nervous about it. I didn't know how uh, safe and secure it was going to feel. But uh, at the end of the day yesterday, I took about an hour and a half and I put all these planks down. And these are uh, spare floorboards, tongue and groove floorboards from the house. And I've got them all like interlocked with each other. They're, they're hammered together. Uh, you know, I've got some uh, little uh, braces that go across. So they're all kind of attached together. It's pretty stable. I can walk across it very easily. There's a little bit of a bounce to the middle of it. But overall, it's worked out really nice. I feel safe and secure on this. And I can focus, instead of being terrified of heights, I can focus on the work that I have to do. One of the difficult things with working straight off of a ladder is that, you know, you. You have the immediate area that is in front of you, but if you really need to work further off to one side or the other side, you have to go all the way down the ladder, move the ladder, and then go all the way back up the ladder. With the scaffold, it's been really great. Uh, I've been able to uh, walk side to side as I've been working, you know, putting up these uh, pieces of strapping, putting one nail in, the next nail in, the next nail in. That would be a really tedious process using a ladder. I'd probably have to have poles holding up one end of it while I kind of walked around. It's really uh, added a lot to the efficiency having this. So I'm, I'm glad that I set this up. The plan is that I'm going to do this entire wall, get it all done, then break all this stuff down, bring it over to the other side. And given the fact that it's like less than two hours for the, you know, the building of this thing, I think it's time that's well worth it because it really speeds everything else up. What I'm working on right now is getting ready for putting on the greenhouse roof nailer. I'm inside what's going to be the greenhouse. It's going to attach to the, uh, the roof structure somewhere right around here. Uh, and I need to put uh, some, some pads, some, uh, uh, some wooden pads under there that can accept the load of the, of the uh, greenhouse uh, when I do add it. I, you can't just put it right onto this foam siding. It'll all kind of crunch in. It just you know, doesn't work that way. You need something robust, something strong that can take the, the weight of it. So